It's our time with Mr. Mayberry. Hey, let's get creative. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mr. Mayberry. Today we're going to take the cartoon characters that we made last time and make a comic strip. This is going to involve making a sequence, a series of events that follow an order. There'll be a beginning, a middle, and an end. So let's get started. It's time to make some art. Okay, I start this project with a 12 by 18 piece of paper, and I cut it in half. And then I'm going to take one of those pieces. You'll actually be able to use the other one as well. Um, but I'm going to start with one of those pieces. And we're making a comic strip. And the reason it's called a comic strip is because it's made on a strip of paper. It's usually a longer rectangle. Um, sometimes you see comic strips that are squares or in circles, different shapes. But usually they're, they're done in a longer um, strip or a longer s rectangle. And it's broken up into different panels or different squares. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to take this piece and fold it in half like that. And then we take it and fold it in half again. And it might be easier to turn it this way to do that. So you fold that in half again. And that's going to give us four panels or four sections that we can uh, put our comic strip on. So you might even fold it the other direction. And then you open it up and you have four separate boxes, four separate panels. You can do a comic strip on the front and then you could also turn it over and you could do another one on the back. And like I said, if you started with a 12 by 18 piece of uh, paper, then you can actually have two sets of these. So you can have two fronts and two backs. Here I'm going to go ahead and, and trace over the creases. And that just separates the boxes a little better so I can see the individual boxes. just like that. Okay, next I have to think about what do I want the comic strip to be about? What is the story that it's going to tell? Remember I said in the opening it's going, there's going to be a sequence, there's going to be a beginning, a middle, and an end. And I decided uh, for this comic strip I'm going to use the cartoon character that we came up with in the last lesson, which was how to build a cartoon character. And I, this is the character that I came up with last time. And I went ahead I didn't have a name for him last time, but I have a name for him now. Decided to call him Silly Billy. So let me show you the comic strip that I came up with about Silly Billy. Silly Billy, that's me, by Mr. Mayberry. Bob, could you please make me a peanut butter sandwich? Sure, Billy. Oh, Bob. Okay, now let's look at the comic strip as a whole and talk about what I did in each of the panels and also what you can do with yours in each of the panels. It, there's four panels in this comic strip. I mentioned that earlier. And in the first panel, I've got the title of the comic strip, Silly Billy. And I also have the character, just the face. And then I put who it was by, by Mr. Mayberry. So in yours, you'll come up with a name. Now it could be the name of your character. It could be what the story or the comic strip is about. Um, but you'll write that in the first panel and then also write by and put your name. Also down here in the bottom corner, you might have noticed I have a C inside of a circle with 2015. And what that is, that says copyright 2015, meaning that this comic strip right that I have right here is is copyrighted nobody can copy this unless they have permission from me so that's the first panel you introduce the the name of the story or the character and and possibly even put a picture of them in there too okay now we have the actual story and it's divided into three parts beginning middle and end now there are some serious comic strips but most comic strips are funny. Most of them are, are either a joke or a gag or something funny and that's why they call it a comic strip. There's a, a, something comic gives is means something funny so it's a, a strip of comical drawings or a comical story and in the first one I have two characters I have Billy and his mom 
you don't see the mother's face, you just see part of her face. This is because she's grown up and, and this also puts it on us on his level. But I have also something I want to point out in this one here is that we have the what are called word balloons. And it's a circle that you put um, what the person is saying in. You put the words of what the person is saying and then it points to or it goes to the person who's speaking. So you can tell who's talking within the comic strip. And when you do these you want to put whatever is said up closest to the top and then work down with the, the word balloons. Also you could work from left to right. So the one that is on the left, upper left corner, that's first when we read it, because that's the way we read that's the way we read. Read that's the way you read words, that's the way you read books. Is you start on the top left and you go to the right. So whoever speaks first will go up here and then they'll you'll either go to the right of that or down below to the right and that has creates a, a flow here in, in what's being said so we can follow the story in the right order. If you put the word balloons in the wrong place then it's sometimes it's harder to follow and you might get the story mixed up. So you have to kind of put them in the same order that you would read a book. Also when you write the words within the word balloon don't crowd them too much. You want to be able to read what it says and if you write sloppy or you uh, don't make the balloon big enough then you won't be able to read the joke or the whatever is being said and it, you won't be able to understand the, the story. Something else that happens in comic strips besides word balloons are what are called thought balloons and they look just like the word balloon except they're a little cloud and you might have tiny little clouds that go towards the the head of the person that's thinking them. So in this one I, I have I'm starting the, the this is kind of a joke here and I'm starting off with the Billy saying mom could you please make me a peanut butter sandwich and so he's asking her a question and she says sure Billy. In the next box this is the middle part of the story and you don't see the characters at all you just see a cloud here and the word poof and the idea of this, this is an action taking place. And a lot of times when you have actions within a, a comic strip, you will see the word. Because why? Because we can't hear what's happening. This is all, you, the comic strip doesn't make any sound, so you have to draw pictures of the sound. And that's what I've done here. It's poof. So if something is um, landing on the ground, it might be splat. Or if there's something exploding, it might be boom. So you, you would write down whatever is happening. If you have sounds within your comic strip, you write down the word and you either put it, like in this case, it's kind of like a dust cloud, so poof. Or you could have um, maybe zigzag lines and make, if it's some kind of an action word, you might make it stand out with um, sharp lines instead of rounded ones. Okay, so that's the second part, poof. So there's an action taking place. And then we see in the last frame here, Billy is now a sandwich. He asked his mom to make him a sandwich, so she used her magic spoon there, poof, and made him a sandwich. Turned him into a sandwich, which is not what he meant, and that's why it's funny, because it's not what he meant. He meant uh, make, uh, make a sandwich out of bread for him to eat, but then we kind of twist the words around a bit, and it it could be taken that she, he wanted her to make him into a sandwich, and that's what the joke is in this comic strip. And he's saying then at the end, "Oh, mom." So you, in the last square, you're going to have the punchline of the joke, the funny thing that happens, um, and so that's how you end your end your comic strip, end your story. So you have the title with the author and the cartoonist being you. And you have the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story. So, now you know what to do. Take your time. Be creative. Have fun with this. When you get finished, share your comic strip with someone. And this is our project for today. Drawing a comic strip. If you like making comic strips, you might expand your ideas and make a longer story. Make a comic book or a comic novel. Thanks for coming to art class, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, Mr. Mayberry.